and it was really absolutely spectacular. Everyone had so much fun. The fireworks themselves were amazing. About 25 minutes in all. I know. Eyewitness News bringing every minute of the pyrotechnic wizardry into the homes across the viewing area and beyond as mm -hmm. thousands of people were watching live on our stream, the ABC 11 app. Chopper 11 over Dick's Park getting a bird's eye view of that dazzling display as every color imaginable mm -hmm. lit up the sky. Yeah, we also had Drone 11 up in the air. A picture perfect night for watching Raleigh's biggest show right here on ABC 11. Great views from our entire broadcast team. And from the looks on the faces of the thousands of people taking it in on the ground, they were not disappointed. They loved every minute of it as the fireworks erupted over Dick's Park. And we have live team coverage right now of the big Raleigh 4th of July party. Josh Chapin spending the evening mingling in that huge crowd. Jamise Price out there in the sizzling heat. We'll start with Josh live at a now very quiet Dick's Park. Hi, Josh. Hey, Lauren, what a great night. The energy was fantastic. The vibes were even better. I felt like the entire city of Raleigh and its neighbors came out to the really big field for a really big 4th of July picnic tonight. Each boom over Dick's Park tonight was more spectacular than the one before. The 4th of July fireworks spectacle delivering for nearly a half hour, delivering a major victory for the capital city. This is a, a variety of a diversity of different people. It's such a beautiful thing, man. You, I mean, couldn't ask for anything better. Moritis Zuberi brought his four kids. My wife is over grabbing a bite to eat. Your wife decided to disappear just for the purpose of television, right? Yes, sir. I like the togetherness. I know the, the traditional meaning of it, but the togetherness is something that, that literally bends our community together. Togetherness was the name of the game as thousands set up picnics in the big field. This is Luna. Luna? Yes. How old? Luna is 13 months old. Maybe Luna had her set up for her, but she and her mom and aunts braved the heat, shuttle buses, and long walks to be here. They're both Venezuelan, okay. and my husband is Venezuelan too, um, and he just became naturalized maybe two years ago. The food trucks were new this year, and they were a big hit. So was the big screen on the big field. Yeah, we're staying strong out here. It's a beautiful fans. day. We're good. Austin Reese and his family got the perfect view tonight. Fourth of July, just be grateful for everything. Be with the friends, the family, and just have a good time. Enjoy a good show. We heard great balls of fire. We heard a little bit of Bruce Springsteen, Star Wars, all the great hits. The music was fantastic tonight. And Stephen Lauren, we had our ABC 11 tent where we were handing out these fans. And I can tell you, while it is wonderful now for all the cleanup crews to be working, it was hot earlier in the day. Stephen Lauren, back yeah. to you. It was pretty warm, and we don't have a firm crowd count yet, but we can tell you we were stuck in some wild traffic yeah. trying to get that very short distance from Dick's <laughs> Park here to downtown Raleigh. Yeah. So that's testament to the success it was tonight. I know. Can't wait till the numbers come in. That's right. Josh Chapin, thank you. <laughs> and the fireworks weren't the only thing sizzling tonight. The heat was definitely on when the gates opened at 5. Don says the feels like temp was in the upper 90s, close to 100. And by fireworks time, it was still pretty hot and humid, but actually pretty pleasant out there. Did not stop hundreds of people from packing Dick's Park for that fireworks show. And they also worked to keep cool. And some of the crowd used those hand fans given out in an attempt to beat the heat. Many also wore hats. They did everything to stay cool. <laughs> you had to stay cool. The misting fans, the misting stations, drinking lots of water. Jamise Price continues our live team coverage right now. Jamise, you spent the evening checking in with Wake EMS on how they responded. Uh, what did they tell you about uh, heat related injuries there at uh, Dick's Park tonight? Hey, Steve, I just made my last call to EMS, getting my last check in for the night, and they told me despite this extreme heat, they did not respond to any heat related emergencies out here. So it's certainly some good news. Also, those water refilling stations that you guys were just mentioning, a huge success out here playing a major role in helping folks cool off. Summer sizzling heat won't let up. The sun shining bright, beaming over the big field at Dick's Park, for the fireworks show in Raleigh. It's very humid out here. It's really hot, to be honest. Feels muggy. You can tell by the sunlight, it's, it's very hot today. That's Quan Yu Chen. We met him and many more people at one of the free water refilling stations throughout the park. It quickly became a popular spot for people trying to stay hydrated and cool off. If you can bring one of these, you know, that you can refill yourself, obviously in one that's pretty convenient. It has been very hot. Another busy spot, larger than lemons. It's one of the food and drink vendors at the park. 
the line stretched. We're happy to serve the community, but they're drinking a lemonade faster than we can make it. They work to help others cool off while also trying to keep their team from overheating. We do have air conditioner in the trailer. We do take breaks. Even if the line is long, but sometimes we just have to take a break and step back for a second. Fortunately, that wasn't the case, but Wake County EMS was prepared to handle any heat related health emergency at Dix Park tonight. There were eight EMS responders on site, a transport unit, two golf carts to move patients, and a tent staffed to treat anyone who needed help. Stay hydrated and you ain't got to worry about nothing else. So Lauren and Steve, it actually feels really good out here. This is how it felt when the fireworks show started. So that definitely played a part in keeping folks cool. A lot of people stayed hydrated and they really listened to their bodies. If they were getting overheated, they needed to rest. They did so and that played a key part in how everything ended out here tonight. The Lauren numbers were down, Jimmy said. That's yeah. really a testament to yeah. people, of course, listening like we, we've Look, been encouraging all week. Looking out for themselves out yes. there. All right, Jimmy, thanks very much. Great reporting tonight from Dix Park. And there were some great moments throughout the night. Yeah, our crews were spread out across the big field, right in the thick of it all, talking to everyone. Joel Brown talking with a lot of families in the crowd at one point, finding a comfortable <laughs> spot there on someone's blanket. And then there was the giant foam pit. Lots of kids, lots of grown-ups all getting in on the action. And we met Asher, who shared with us his favorite part of the evening. Well, thank you. My favorite part of this 4th of July is being on the news. Being on the news. That is definitely, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we thank Asher for being part of our broadcast uh, of the fireworks show here on ABC 11. And you can watch a replay of the fireworks show beginning tomorrow night at 630 on the ABC 11 North Carolina app, wherever you stream.